Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I want to go through lead code number 648, replace words. In English, we have a concept called root, uh, which can be followed by some other words to form another longer word. So let's call this word successor. And for example, when root is n, it's followed by successor word other, and then we will have a, a new word another. Given a dictionary that consists in uh, many roots, and a sentence consisting words separated by um, space, spaces. We place all successors in the sentence with the root forming it. If a successor can be replaced by more than one root, and we need to replace it with the root that has the shortest length. Let's uh, go through some example. Uh, let's say we have a dictionary that is in a list uh, that has cat, bat, and rat, and the sentence that we are given is the cattle was rattled by the battery. And uh, as we can see, uh, the word cattle that was replaced by the root cat. Rattled is replaced by the uh, root bat. Battery was replaced by the word rat. So uh, the output is the cat was rat by the bat. So um, for the word that uh, does not have a root and we just will return the same word. And for the one that do have it, and then we replace by the root. And for the second example, uh, we have a dictionary A, B, and C, and sentence is uh, and this uh, string. And um, we need to uh, replace um, first for the first word, we replace it by the root, which is A. Second word has the same root, which is A again, because it's starting with the letter A. And then third word. Uh, started with letter B, that's why it has the root of B. The, the fourth word has a uh, starting letter of C, that's why um, it will, the root is C, and then we replace all the roots uh, for corresponding to uh, each of the words. And um, for this example, uh, we are seeing multiple roots and some root. Uh, so as we can see, uh, AA has a root of A. And AAA has a root of AA and A, and AAA -A -A, uh, four A's has a root of all all the prior uh, roots are the all the prior. Um, so A is the root for all the um, these words, and AA is all the words for this, uh, the subsequent uh, root. So actually, um, there is only one root in this uh, dictionary, which is uh, letter A. Uh, one a, and uh, we can replace um, all these uh, words that started with a by the root of a, and then the remaining they don't have a root. Oh, except this one, it has a root of a. So we have to always look at the shortest uh, length for the root, and uh, the same uh, apply to here, cat. Is actually a root for cat, C A T T, and so this one is being ignored when it's doing the operation. So cattle was replaced by cat, uh, and then the rest is uh, the same as uh, example one. Uh, example five, and we have A C and A B for the roots. So um, abnormal has a root of A B, accepted has a root of A C. So uh, this is the return sentence. Now let's look at uh, the solution. Um, this is the function that we need to to, to be executed. And first, we uh, convert the list of dictionary uh, to a set. So we call it set dic. Um, this, this is a set of a dictionary uh, because we want uh, no um, all the unique um, roots. That's why set uh, is uh, the data structure that we need. And then we can print it off to examine what in the set dictionary. Uh, I think this is uh, optional. And then we have a um, sentence in list. So we basically convert the sentence to a list that contain, I mean, each uh, element will be each single word. So for example, um, this string, the cattle was uh, rattled by the battery, and it will be converted to 
uh, a list that has the first element of the list will be uh, the string the second element will be uh, the string cattle and third element will be uh, the word was etc so this is how we do the com uh, conversion and then um, we have a return list that is returning and that's containing um, all the um, in the output stream and con containing um, each element is the the one that we want to return with return so uh, let's take a look at uh, how, how can we do that so we have the find root function uh, which will be called in this uh, list comprehension for all the words in the sentence in list in here and then we will um, perform this function find root so what find root does is uh, we need a word itself that we are inputting there is a specific word that we're looking at also uh, the dictionary set for hat if in the range of between one and the length of the word if the prefix of the particular length in the hat that we're looking at so for example um, Cattle, so we will examine all the prefix like C, start with C. So we have uh, one um, one character and then go all the way to C A and then C A T and then C A T T and then C A T T L E and then C A T. Yeah, so we, we go through all the way uh, the prefix all the way to the full uh, length of the word. So that's uh, what this uh, for loop is doing. And then we convert all the prefix to see not converting we checking to see all the prefix is in the in the dictionary set or not if it is in the dictionary and this for loop will be stopped and then immediately return um, the prefix that we found and this for loop automatically takes care of the case where um, other route is not necessary because the this is checking the length increase from one uh, and then increasing in order so if we found the root as a it already stops that's why it won't even check the rest of the the root which is has a heart longer in length so it forces to check the shortest length for the root if we couldn't find after running this for loop it just returned the word itself so we push this uh, function into the list comprehension and then we have a new list that was created by this list comprehension and then we convert uh, this is, uh, the return list that containing all the words that we want to return and then convert it back to a string and this is how uh, this solution works in terms of the time complexity and with a bit all of the summation of uh, wi square so wi is the length of the i word in the worst case scenario, we will need to check all the prefix. So that's why. And in the worst case, we need to check all the, the prefix. So it's all of wi square. However, this is actually wrong. It's from the official solution. The com time complexity is actually big O of the summation of wi is of wi square because for each of the word we look at the possible prefix and then the, the subsequent lookup it takes the big o of one instead of big o of w again so uh, the time complexity is actually uh, big o of um,
big O of the summation of the WI. So this is raw. And it's from the official solution. And the space complexity is a big O of N. And then comes from the set dictionary. And that's pretty straightforward. So this is so much for the solution. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do, please consider like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.